Matt, when you look at the USC schedule, I don't know if you've given it some kind of difficulty ranking, if you did anything where you released, let's say, uh, in order, which are the most difficult games. But as you navigate through the 22 schedule, where do you think the potholes lie and maybe some of the unexpected potholes? Well, I've said from the beginning, and so it's worth saying one more time before we start get this party started with the 2022 regular season, the Oregon State game in week four. I think that is the focal point of the season. Obviously, Utah is a showcase game. Notre Dame is a showcase game. But the Oregon State game is just that it's that hinge point moment where the season either goes up or down. And, and, and the, the odds of USC reaching its goals, you know, either, you know, will soar or they'll crash. And it's that game in Corvallis because it's early in the season, because it's a road game and because, you know, Oregon State has the tools needed to beat USC like Oregon State. With the offensive line, with a commitment to the ground game, like you can, it's obvious, it's out there. You can see that Oregon State is a team built to control the ball for 38, 39, 40 minutes, keep Caleb Williams on the sideline. Like that is just a classic blueprint for beating this USC team, which does, is not especially proven up front on the defensive line. It's just, it's a matchup that begs for trouble. And so if USC gets through that game, I think USC is going to go eight and one in the Pac-12, which means USC is going to play in the Pac-12 title game, which means USC is going to get a New Year's Six Bowl invitation. So, so many goals of the season, in my mind, rest on that Oregon State game. In terms of the other the other pothole game, uh, Washington State, just because if Cam Ward gets hot, you know that that is a potential for danger. Now, I know that USC thrashed Washington State last year in Pullman with you know a team that was not very good. And it was still had so many more athletes than Washington State did. I'm not too worried about it, but there is that one David versus Goliath slingshot. If Cam Ward just plays out of his mind and the USC defense doesn't have an answer for it, that game could get a little thorny. But other than that, I think it's pretty smooth sailing. I think the Pac-12 is a pretty weak conference. I think USC is, you know, miles better than UCLA. And then at the bottom, you have just a, a lot of filler. You have a lot of fluff. Like Arizona State's going to be bad. Colorado's going to be bad. Arizona is going to be better than it was last year, but still not particularly strong. Uh, Cal, is, Cal, you know, Cal might finish last because Brett uh, Johnson, its best defensive player, is out for the season with an injury. That like, that is, you look at the Cal roster. Two or three players that Cal simply could not afford to lose. Brett Johnson was one of them. So Cal might actually be worse than Colorado at the very bottom of the league. So that's not going to be a game that will remotely threaten USC. So there's a lot of fluff on the schedule. Uh, I mean, Pac-12 fluff, I should say. Like, it's not as though USC is scheduling a lot of fluff. Only the Rice game. You know, Fresno State, that could be a challenging game in September. Fresno State won at UCLA a year ago. So that could be a threat. So, you know, there, there are a few games, Fresno State, Washington State, but especially Oregon State, you know, in, um, in terms of those non-Utah, non-Notre Dame games on the 2022 schedule for USC.